DJing, running his own record label and working on his first solo album, Boy George has also found time to write his autobiography. Why did he feel the need to tell the world his story? Well, I'd like to say that there was some really deep moral reason behind writing this book. It just kind of happened. I started writing it when I was doing the last Culture Club album, the, the fourth album that, we, that was the last record we did. And I was just in Switzerland, I was bored out of my mind, I had nothing to do, I bought a word processor and started writing about school. I mean, was it a painful experience at times to do that? It was kind of equally painful and joyous and, you know, there were times when, obviously, you know, we wrote things that we knew we could never leave in the book. In retrospect now, that there's only... Would you have wanted Culture Club to be together today? No, I really wish I'd done what Paul Weller did when we were like number one with Karma Chameleon. Just said, OK, that's it, good night. The new album's out, Cheapness and Beauty. Yep. How was writing the album different to writing the book? Certainly the book really, really influenced this album because um, it stirred up a lot of our memories. So the, the album is very autobiographical, dealing with a lot of stuff from the past, lost friends, lost lovers, a little bit of revenge. What's the new single about? Well, Illidor is about a friend of mine who died about two years ago called Stevie, and it's kind of like a celebration of him as a character. You know, it kind of deals with the sadness of AIDS, but it also deals with the kind of colourful side of Stevie. It's like remembering him in his true spirit. I think that, you know, the best music is very personal. And, uh, you know, some people believe that pop music shouldn't be political or personal, and I disagree. I think it should be. That's when it's at its best. And is Boy George disappointed that his solo project hasn't been a success? England is one small dot on the horizon. I mean, I love England. It's my home. And it's kind of like kudos to be successful in England. But, uh, you know, unless you're in a huge band like Take That, you can't really make money here. But after a comparatively turbulent ride, uh, what makes you want to just get back on the bandwagon again? Bandwagon is when you copy people. And I don't think I am. I think I'm doing my own thing. I've got my own corner. You know, I don't belong to the kind of old school hierarchy. I don't hang out with Eric Clapton and Phil Collins or George Michael. I'm on my Take it like a man. Quite sure what I mean. Uh, he will sing a little bit later. We'll talk first. Please welcome Boy George. <laughs>